Esophageal cancer is staged, like most cancers, from one to four. One being very early, four being very late, where the cancer is spread to elsewhere in the body. Within that one through four staging, we use something called TNM, which is, stands for the status of the tumor, that's the T. N is for the lymph nodes that are involved. And M stands for evidence of metastatic disease or when the cancer has spread to elsewhere in the body. And so when we take the T status, that's the depth of invasion into the wall of the esophagus. So if it's a very small tumor that doesn't go very deep, that would be sort of a T1 tumor. When we get all the way to four, so the T is also staged one through four, now that tumor has not only gone all the way through the wall of the esophagus, but it's now starting to grow into other structures that are around there. The N for lymph nodes, um, that just comes down to how many lymph nodes are involved. And in general, the more lymph nodes are involved, the higher the stage of the cancer and the worse the prognosis. And the reason lymph nodes are important is because for the most part, the first place cancer cells go beyond the organ, such as the esophagus, is to the surrounding lymph nodes. And so once they get into the lymph nodes, now they can enter the bloodstream and they can go elsewhere in the body. And patients then obviously will develop metastatic disease or spread to other organs. So the lymph nodes appear to be the most critical portion of this staging algorithm that we use. Um, and like I said, the more lymph nodes that are involved, the worse the prognosis. And again, the M just stands for metastatic disease. So when we put the patient through testing, such as a CT scan or a PET scan, and we find that there's tumor in the liver or the lungs or the bone, um, that means they've got metastatic disease. And again, the cancer is much more advanced and the prognosis is much worse.